Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And this morning we're looking at adjusting the dry tappet clearance on your O235 engine. Now, you don't have to do this on the O320s and the O360s because we have hydraulic lifters much like we have in a car. So it automatically adjusts. But in the original O235s that we had in the two-seaters, there are mechanical gauges that we have to measure the gap in between the valve uh, guide and the top of the valve and the valve rocker and what we're looking for is a nominal 0 .008 inches eight thousandths of an inch of clearance so that way when the engine warms up and everything's right we won't have any valve clearance we'll be directly uh, driving the valve so we're just taking the rocker cover off and one thing that those of you with two places you'll notice that this two place is equip equipped with silicon rocker covers. If you've got an O235 and you have the cork ones, you're not doing this every year because you're destroying your cork gaskets. So, but you're looking to adjust the clearance between this rocker and this valve and this one here on the exhaust. Now, while we're here looking at it, we look at the exhaust guide, the exhaust valve, and what we see is there's no oil being cooked on the valve, which means the valve guide is not letting any hot air through. So that's a good sign. So stand by while we get ready. We're going to make our adjustments up here. Top dead center. Right here. Right here. So the prop is at top dead center, and that's put them all at top dead center, and that's what we want to measure these at now. Now the prop is at top dead center for cylinder number three. We're going to slide the feeler gauge through. This is the .008, and as you can see, these are way too loose, so we're going to tighten them up real quick. It's not a hard procedure, but here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to need a three-quarter inch wrench for the nut, and you're going to need a big screwdriver uh, to make the adjustment. So Matt's going to loosen it. These have many years of... <laughs> yeah, and then when all else fails, you can put a socket on it and break it loose. And they're broke loose. Yep. Uh, all right. Feeler gauge in there. Keep calm. I'll get them loosen up a little bit more. No. Now i got to loosen the lock nut a little bit. Okay. Lock nut being loose so we can tighten down. I can feel a little bit of pressure on. Okay, no, back off just a little bit. There, there you go, right there. Tighten that down. No change in the feeler gauge. So there's that one adjusted. Now this one's way loose, and now we're going to tighten this one up. Getting snug. Keep going. There you go. Right there. Right there. Back off just a little bit. There you go. Right there. Okay. So when the gauge slips in easily like that, and there's a little bit of pressure on it, that's what you're looking for. That's that. This valve and this valve have now been set to 0 .008. Let's see if we can read that on the feeler gauge. It's a brass feeler gauge. Kind of hard to read, but that's it's what you're looking upside, for. Yeah. It says 0 .0078 to 0 .009, and the closest thing we have is 0 .8. So we hope you found all that useful and informative. It's not a fun job, but it's, again, one of those things on your annual checklist. It's a single check mark. Take, that takes you a while to perform. So thanks for watching and have a good day flying your now properly adjusted O235 in your two-seater. And thanks for watching. And have a great day flying your Grumman.